Okay. Sorry. This is a very problem. So, if I want to draw a graph between the temperature versus temperature versus magnetic field, this is the temperature and this is the magnetic field, okay. If we, uh, if the critical temperature uh, uh, above the critical temperature, the material becomes normal state and above the critical magnetic field, the material or metal or alloy becomes normal state. So, this is the region in which the state will be superconducting state. This is the superconductivity, superconductivity. T B T right and this is the normal state normal state so you can see if we reduce the temperature from superconduct uh, critical temperature to below at that temperature you can see uh, the uh, at that temperature you can see the uh, magnetic field uh, at that temperature uh, the above that magnetic field this become normal state so if you reduce the temperature of this material you can see increasing the critical magnetic field at tc critical magnetic field is tends to zero that means just if you just below the tc critical temperature then uh, just apply uh, very low magnetic field you change from superconducting state to normal state but below the uh, very uh, very much lower than the tc if if the temperature of the superconductivity is or of the superconductor is very much lower than the tc then what happen uh, we need to apply large or huge magnetic field to uh, change from superconductivity to normal state that's mean at uh, higher temperature that's mean near to tc at the near tc you can change from superconductor to normal state by using small amount of magnetic field. But in case of very far or very lower from the TC, then we need to apply more magnetic field to change from superconductor to normal state. Very simple. In the other hand, there is another parameter that is the current effect. This is the temperature and this is the current within the superconductor. If, if this is a superconductor, you will flow the current in the, uh, uh, after a certain amount of current, this becomes our current density after, uh, if we want to plot with respect to current density, after a certain, this is JZ, and JC is the current density, critical current density above which the superconductor or superconductivity transform into the normal state. Okay. So, this is the critical critical current density current density above which the material becomes from uh, superconductor to normal state they are also the same like nature this is the tc and this is the jc this is superconducting state this is the normal state okay these two curves, these two effect, this is the magnetic effect, field effect, current effect and the temperature effect can be draw in a three-dimensional curve like that. Okay, you can say this is T, this is J, this is B. This is the three-dimensional curve. Okay. Okay, this, this is the region. region. This is the three dimensional region in which the material are in the superconducting state, and from that region, this is the superconducting state. And uh, expect this region, this is the normal state of the metal or alloy. I think clear. 
these three effects this is the temperature effect this this temperature what is this temperature this is critical temperature what is this this is the critical current density what is this this is the critical magnetic field so you need to remember three factor to sustain a superconducting state of the material of metal or the alloy within the critical temperature critical current density critical magnetic field within that region you get the superconducting state of material but if anyone will be reaches from that uh, region you get the you, you can see the transform the superconductor into the normal state i here i want to say the nature of the nature of this curve is obeyed by the equation which is called act or uh, you can see bct that is the bc0 within bracket 1 minus t by tc whole square okay what is bc bc is the critical this is the critical temperature at any t any temperature this is the any temperature this is the critical critical magnetic field critical magnetic field magnetic field at if i the field at any temperature any temperature and this is the magnetic uh, critical magnetic field critical magnetic field field at zero kelvin temperature okay and this is the t by tc tc is the uh, critical temperature you can see at uh, so so the, so this value is nothing but bc at zero and from here this is uh, this is the bc at t okay so x axis is t at that point the coordinate will be t comma bc at t this is the coordinate of that point that is bc is the uh, critical magnetic field at any temperature you can see for different temperature the critical magnetic field is different because the nature of the car says that above that uh, magnetic field you can convert from superconductivity to non normal state at the zero kelvin temperature this is the highest magnet critical magnetic field which is bc zero that is the critical magnetic field at zero kelvin temperature okay and the bc t t is the any temperature this is the critical magnetic field at any temperature uh, and the critical uh, magnetic field at zero kelvin temperature related with this relay sun i think clear go to the next one so these are described here uh, when the current flow through an wire uh, then the magnetic field produced uh, associated with the magnetic field so high superconductivity is destroyed uh, the critical value of the magnetic field at the superconductivity destroyed the city okay this uh, like that this is the superconducting nature you can see they are the different uh, nature for the different curve this is the for the different curve and the silve effect what is the silve effect the, the current exists a critical this is the uh, current effect so it is actually current effect the current exists a critical current the superconductivity state is destroyed i think clear three effects which can destroy the um, superconductivity state of this material next is the mesner effect what is the mesner effect mesner effect already we discussed that is when we apply uh, the uh, when we apply magnetic field within the super conductor this becomes uh, in non superconductor that is uh, in 1933 they uh, uh, mesner and oche sen field observe that the nature of this superconductor under the magnetic field they observe the nature of superconductor under magnetic field under magnetic field right they observe the uh, uh, superconductor is nothing but a superconductor nothing but a 
dielectric material dielectric dielectric material dielectric material the superconductor is nothing but a dielectric material in 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 weak magnetic field above the critical magnetic field you know this will become normal so in weak magnetic field this is bsa uh, bsa in the uh, weak magnetic field the superconductor uh, behaves a dielectric uh, material okay so since this behaves a dielectric material you can say uh, the uh, b b is a total magnetic field this is nothing but mu not h plus m right you know from the bsc class so uh, in the dielectric material you know the b is zero for dielectric material dielectric material so if we uh, put b is zero you can say uh, h is nothing but the minus m or m is nothing but minus h so what is the value of susceptibility what is the value of susceptibility 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 what is the value of susceptibility the chi is nothing but the m by h right so if you put m is minus h so this become minus 1 so susceptibility of superconductor will be minus 1 clear and if we uh, we con uh, compare the uh, a superconductor to a normal conduct uh, conductor e under the behavior of within the magnetic field suppose this is an ideal conductor two case ideal conductor and next one is the superconductor super conductor super conductor okay no. at t greater than tc at t greater than tc for ideal conductor this is the ideal conductor this magnetic field throughout the material this is the suppose this bsa oh. within the uh, for ideal conductor the magnetic field these are the magnetic fields line throughout the material same case uh, here also this is also throughout the material in case of t greater than tc now if we reduce the temperature below the tc critical temperature the ideal conductor have no change this is bs this same nature okay so the lowering uh, uh, here the cool down here the temperature is cool down the effect is temperature cool down but here what will be happen the superconductor bfs a dielectric material sure so dial uh, this uh, dielectric material so the lines magnetic lines of force diverted like that okay superconducting state this is the ideal conductor this is the superconducting now if we increase the magnetic field tends to zero if the magnetic field tends to zero t magnetic field tends to zero t less than tc temperature is less than tc if magnetic field is zero then in case of ideal conductor the magnetic field is a close to magnetic field produce a close loop the magnetic field produce close loop okay if we reduce the magnetic field tends to 
zero. But in case of superconductor, there is no magnetic field. Okay, this is the comparison for, for, uh, of his ideal conductor to superconductor. In <coughs> effect of the Meissner effect. You can say this is a Meissner wave at uh, temperature greater than uh, T greater than T C. This uh, this T greater than T C is the normal state. This is the normal state. Uh, due to normal state, uh, the conductor behaves like a parallelity material. But, uh, but in case of superconducting state, that is the temperature is below the critical temperature, the magnetic field within the uh, uh, superconductor is zero. That's why the uh, are bend out. Okay, this phenomena is not actually. Meissner effect. This was established or the observed at first by scientists. Meissner. In the normal metal, in the low magnetic field is cooled below the superconducting transition metal. Then the magnetic class is pushed out. Magnetic flux, magnetic field pushed out. As if the superconducting material be a perfect diamond. Okay. In case uh, if we want to find out the nature of H versus M. For in case of superconductor, these are the linear because you know this is the chi is nothing but the minus one and chi is minus one, chi is nothing but the m by h. This graph is minus m with versus h, so that is the nature is the linear. You can say minus m is nothing but h, so the nature will be this is in Gauss unit or this is in SI unit. In SI unit, this is. So this nature is the linear. Okay. So this is the Meissner curve. You uh, can see here only this that. Next one is the type of the superconductor. Uh, type of the superconductor actually based on the external magnetic field. Type of the superconductivity is compared or the based on the based on the external effect of external magnetic field. Uh, uh, based on the effect of effect of external magnetic field. External external magnetic field. Magnetic field, external magnetic field. Okay, there are two types of uh, superconductor. Type one that is also called soft, soft superconductor, and next one is the type two, which also known as the hard, hard superconductor. Okay, if you see. This is the minus m versus h. The nature will be like that. Minus m versus h. The nature will be like that. After a certain period, this becomes zero. So after this uh, value, this is called a c critical magnetic field. Above which the this is the superconducting state and this is the normal state. Uh, 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 above T c. The superconductor change in the normal state. This is type one. Type one. Okay. For type two, for type two, there is two critical magnetic field. This is minus m. This is linear, but this is not suddenly zero. They change into gradually. This is AC1, this is AC2. This portion is superconducting state. This is normal state. No problem. But in between them, this is called vortex. Vortex. Vortex state. Uh, vortex. This is called vortex. State in between these two. There is two uh, nature. Uh, after a uh, certain magnetic field, this 
magnetization reduces not zero suddenly in the type 1 this is zero suddenly in type 2 this is not uh, zero suddenly that is why this is called soft because it, it, it can uh, its magnetization suddenly zero but it uh, magnetization does not zero uh, with the with the critical magnetic field okay that is why this is called the hard and this is soft this is soft and this is the hard this is called lower this is called lower Oof. this is called lower critical magnetic field this is critical magnetic field critical magnetic field and this is lower critical critical magnetic field and this is the higher higher magnetic field higher critical magnetic field higher critical magnetic field okay If I want to compare these two types, this is type 1 and type 2, type 1 and type 2, first one, the critical magnetic field is lower, lower critical magnetic field that means it can be changed from superconductor to normal with the very low magnetic field okay but in case of the uh, type 2 this is the higher critical magnetic field critical magnetic field okay this shows complete Meissner effect shows complete Meissner effect so, complete Meissner effect, Meissner effect. Oh, effect, but this not complete, not complete Meissner effect, not complete. Here for type 1 current flow, current, current flow through surface only, through surface only. In type 2 current flow, current flow through material, within the material, okay. For example, Type 1 example is tin, aluminium, mercury, lead. This is the type 1. For type 2, tantalum, 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 y, b, a, 2. Cu2O7 whose critical uh, temperature is nearly to 125 Kelvin. This critical temperature is nearly to 125 Kelvin. Okay. This is the details of the super uh, type 1 superconductor which says that the depending on the penetration of the magnetic field within the sample are the two types is the uh, for a superconductor at T less than Tc, that is the temperature below the temp, uh, critical temperature, if a magnetic field is applied some energy, is lost the established the magnetic field, screening current that is the surface current which cancel field inside the bulk, but in if the magnetic field is large enough, the T less than Tc sample can come normal state, allow the external field to penetrate. Actually, this uh, occurrence is explained here. Why the 
higher in the higher magnetic field this become normal state okay at higher magnetic field this become a normal state explain here this is a soft uh, superconductor the current disappear in the 3 to 3 effect t greater than tc b greater than bc j greater than jc then the uh, state will be changed into the normal state if we define by the complete Meissner effect below a critical tc below a critical tc no penetration of flux that is the superconducting state is remained below the tc this is the superconducting state this is the normal state and the value ac increase with the decreasing t below which already discussed uh, uh, previously that if we decrease the temperature the ac will be increases okay if we put the b, b equal to this b, if we put b equals to zero then the nature of the curve will like that okay so if we increase the magnetic field this will be like that uh, this is the uh, b, uh, result for bc for different material you can see here and next one is the type 2 material this is the uh, hard superconductor also known as uh, such uh, superconductor is defined the incomplete Meissner effect you can see this is the incomplete Meissner effect that is is not a the Meissner effect not obey completely for type 2 superconductor okay two critical fields here uh, we got and to the ha is the upper critical and h2c is the lower this is the lower critical and this is the upper and you can see here this is the graph from this up to that this is the linear and this will be decay here and this is the normal this is the vertex so already discuss this for b between that there is a partial flux uh, penetration there is a partial flux penetration not total not zero that's why you call partial flux penetration through the this is called a vortex takes uh, vortex and uh, the mixed phase this is the mixed phase of superconductor this is the mixed phase of the superconductor and the normal the metal okay and this is the details of the superconductor says that for uh, the field between these two region this is the uh, critical field uh, lower critical field this is the upper critical field the applied field between these two fields there is a complete microscopic structure of both normal and the superconducting region this is the mixed phase of the normal and superconducting phase it is a, called as the vortex stage in this state there is a partial penetration of the flux partial penetration of the flux in form of the uh, thin filament material uh, remains super conducting and the field decay by the lord equation order equation we will discuss in the next class so what is lord equation bcs theory we will discuss the magnetic flux enclosed to each vortex is just equal to the magnetic flux quantum ac by 2e this is the just information you can take as a note for the vortex test for uh, application we can say that superconductive will be uh, apply in the various application suppose that uh, suppose I want to discuss uh, somewhere here so, okay. suppose this is a superconductor we made this is a superconductor now if we apply the um, current within this, within this superconductor suppose this is a solenoid and this is a coil and this coil made by superconductor and if we apply the current within this coil then what happens the magnetic field will be very large because v equal to mu 0 ni since i is very large so magnetic field will be very large this magnetic field helps to uh, pull out the large steel body you can pull out any car by using this superconductor material okay in high energy particle physics also superconductor use in squid measurement or uh, different measurement scientific measurement also use this superconductor so use of the superconductor is uh, very useful things but the problem is the 
temperature of the superconductor if we can increase the critical temperature of the uh, superconducting then this is will be very useful uh, suppose transmission of power the transmission of power can be uh, used by superconductor because their loss is very low in the normal state there there is a huge loss of the power because of the resistance of the wire right so if the resistance of the wire is reduces tends to zero then this is a very beneficial for the transmission of the power okay in case of the high speed computer in case of the high speed computer you can also say that there if we use the uh, superconducting wire within this computer the the data can be transferred very fast there is no loss of the time between the input output that this will becomes a very high transmitted okay uh, transmitted high transmission or uh, high speed computer use this okay uh, and for nmr also use the uh, superconducting material and so on so the use is very uh, well known but problem we need to find out the solution of this problem in the next class we will be discuss the specific heat Norton equation bcs theory well, actual what is the theory behind this superconducting state we, we need to discuss okay so thank you we will meet in the next class thank you